The latest statistics from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, show that the number of people claiming personal independence payment PIP, at the end of October 2023 rose to an all-time high of nearly 3. 5 million, and that figure does not include the 137,490 on adult disability payment ADP, in Scotland. Some 254,034 people on PIP living in Scotland will have their case transferred automatically to the devolved welfare system by the end of 2025. Some 46% of all new claims made between August and October received an award of PIP, worth between £26.90 and £172.50 pounds and 75 pence each week. Over the same period in Scotland, 38,015 ADP claims were processed with 58% given an award. However, many new ADP claimants may not be aware that a successful claim can also open the door to additional benefit top-ups, help with housing costs, council tax and travel. The extra support is also available for existing PIP claimants, those on DLA and child disability payment. A full guide to all the extra support and financial benefits is available on MyGov. Scott here. Below is a summary of what your disability benefit claim could also entitle you to. Extra support for disability benefit claimants you could receive extra help with, care housing transport travel it's important to be aware that you need to make a claim for the additional support, it isn't applied automatically with a disability benefit award. Guidance on mygov.scot states, you should try to apply as soon as you can. Organizations may not be able to backdate payments for all of the benefits and services if you wait too long. This means you could miss out on some of the extra support you're entitled to. However, it also warns, some of these benefits and services can affect other payments that you get. Help if you are on a low income you could get extra help if you or someone who lives with you gets either, child disability payment adult disability payment personal independence payment disability living allowance employment support you might be able to get a higher payment from the DWP if you get child disability payment or adult disability payment, and any of these benefits, universal credit pension credit income support job seekers allowance, JSA, employment and support Support Allowance ESA, guidance states, you should contact the DWP to tell them about your disability benefit. If you're eligible, you will get an extra amount on top of your normal payment, known as a disability premium. You'll continue to get your usual disability payment from Social Security Scotland. Just be aware that contacting DWP may trigger a change in circumstances for any current benefits you are receiving, so ask an advisor first. Help for existing tax credits claimants you could get a higher payment from HM Revenue and Customs HMRC, if you already get tax credits. You should contact them to tell them about your child disability payment or adult disability payment within one month of receiving your decision. Just be aware that tax credits are ending and any change in circumstances could trigger the migration process to universal credit. Find out more about managed migration here. Support for carers carers allowance they may be able to apply for carers allowance if you get child disability payment, middle or highest rate care component adult disability payment, standard or enhanced rate daily living component carer's allowance can affect other benefits that you and your carer get, speak to a benefits advisor before applying. If they already get carer's allowance, they might also get a carer's allowance supplement, they do not need to apply for this as it will automatically be paid to them twice a year, in June and December. 
If they're not eligible for carer's allowance, they could apply for carer's credit. Find out more here. Young carers If your carer is aged 16, 17 or 18, they might be able to apply for young carer grant. Find out more here. Help with housing costs You could get a higher rate of payment from your local council if you already get housing benefit. This is an extra amount on top of your normal housing benefit payment, known as a disability premium. You may also be able to apply for a council tax reduction, this includes discounts of up to 100% on your council tax bill and may be available even if your bill is already reduced. Social Security Scotland advises that you should contact your local council to tell them about your disability payment and ask about help with housing costs. Help with transport and travel car travel if you get either, child disability payment, higher rate mobility component adult disability payment, enhanced rate mobility component you could apply for, an accessible vehicle or equipment lease vehicle tax exemption, free road tax, a provisional driving license early at age of 16 you, or your nominated driver can apply for a 50% vehicle tax reduction if you get the standard rate mobility component of adult disability payment. Bus travel You can apply for a disabled person's bus pass which allows you to travel by bus for free within Scotland. If you get child disability payment, you must have either the higher rate mobility component middle or highest rate care component you can apply if you get any rate of adult disability payment. A companion can also travel with you for free on the bus if you get either child disability payment, middle or highest rate care component adult disability payment, standard or enhanced rate daily living component get the latest record money news join the conversation on our money saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community. Blue Badge You or your nominated driver can apply for a Blue Badge parking permit which costs £20 and is valid for three years in Scotland. If you get child disability payment, you must have the higher rate mobility component. If you get adult disability payment, you must have either 8 points or more in the moving around activity 12 points in the planning and following a journey activity enhanced rate mobility awarded under special rules for terminal illness you may still be able to apply if you do not have any of the above but you do have a medical condition that affects your mobility full details about adult disability payment or child disability payment can be found on the NIGOV Scott website here Join our daily record money WhatsApp community here to receive alerts on the latest money news from benefits to shopping deals, 